Hello and welcome to the episode 161 of What A Fab Day. I am your host, Simon Mas. A couple of concerts, the release of a single and some studio work will keep us busy today. Let's start the episode with a 10th of June 1961 engagement at the Top 10 Club in Hamburg, West Germany. The Beatles, still featuring Pete Best on drums at the time, were entering the last phase of their second residency in the club, their longest in Hamburg. Let's skip to 1963. The Beatles were still on the road with a concert at the Pavilion in Bath after the conclusion of their package tour with Roy Orbison on the previous night. Moving on to the 10th of June 1964, while the Beatles were on tour in Asia, George Martin and his crew were busy in Abbey Road to produce a new mono mixdown of I'll Be Back, between 10 and 11 am. The mix was intended for the upcoming LP, but it was never released. Meanwhile, in Hong Kong, the Fab Three plus Jimmy Nichol, temporarily replacing Ringo Starr, were waiting for a flight to Sydney, Australia. During the wait, the Australian DJ Bob Rogers interviewed them. It wasn't nothing particularly significant, but you might want to check it out for a bit of color. You'll find the link to the transcription on beatlesbible.com in the episode description. Another thing you'll find in the episode description is a link to www.simonmas.com support, where you can find all kinds of ways in which you can support this and other music-related productions that I intend to create. Rest assured, anything you do will make a big difference. You won't believe the thrill even a simple like or a comment give me, and since you've been listening so far, it means that you do like what you're hearing, right? Help me prove that free content can be sustainable and helpful in creating a community. Thank you! On the 10th of June 1966, Paperback Writer became the 12th Beatles single to come out in Britain. It was their first not to be a love song and their lowest seller since Love Me Do. Regardless, the single hit the number one spot on the 23rd of June. The two songs on it, Paperback Writer and Rain, also showed a shift in the band's approach to songwriting, with the lyrics focusing on storytelling and introspection rather than love, a taste for sonic experimentation and a wider sonic palette. Finally, we can close the episode with two events happened in 1968. It was today that John Lennon returned at the EMI Studios to complete the work on Revolution. The song had been divided in two by now. Revolution 1 included the pop part of the song, while Revolution 9, with its quirky sonorities, was the focus of John's and Yoko's attentions today. Between 2.30 and 5.45 pm, John and Yoko spent time creating loops and sound effects of their own device, sometimes delving into the EMI's collection of pre-recorded sounds or John's personal archives. Meanwhile, in California, George Harrison appeared in Ravi Shankar's documentary film Raga, Shankar. The cameo was filmed on this date and on the following day, in a secluded spot in Big Sur, California. George was accompanied by his wife Patty, Ringo Starr, Maureen Starkey, and Beatles assistant Mal Evans. Today, the filming focused on Harrison learning a new raga from Shankar. The scene was not rehearsed, and the camera kept rolling for about 30 minutes. And with this, I think it's time to wrap things up for this episode of What A Fab Day. Tune in tomorrow to hear about some drummer problems in 1960. For the moment, I wish you a good day and a fab continuation. Simon Mas, music you love.